that considered um, an offer with a scholarship? No, it's not a scholarship. A walk-on is a player who's on the team without scholarship. Uh, there, in the last, I don't, I'll say, ten years, maybe it's less than that. There has become the phenomenon of the preferred walk-on, which is, I offer you a place on our team, but there's no scholarship attached. But you're going to be on our team. It used to be that walk-ons had to try out and make the team, and so at NC State will say they have, uh, the Division I max is 13 scholarships. Most Division I teams, most, do not use all 13 of their scholarships. They have 13, most of them don't use all of them. But let's say they have 12 guys, and then, but they want a couple of walk-on guys to help in practice and uh, sometimes to help with the team GPA, and so they, <laughs> trust me, that, like a lot of guys, playing basketball, uh, doing that. But they may say, we want you to come be part of our team. There's no scholarship, but you've got a spot. You're a preferred walk-on. Um, so that's what that is. But, but when they tell you you're going to be a walk-on, there's no scholarship attached to that. Can a scholarship come if that player yes. gets on and proves himself? A absolutely. Okay. Um, I would never encourage a guy to walk on with that expectation, but it does happen. Sometimes you'll see it on social media or on ESPN. Occasionally they'll have, more so in football than in basketball, but you'll see where they've decided to give the walk on a scholarship and maybe they'll have a surprise team meeting and then they announce that he's, and everybody goes crazy and it's a great thing. But so yes, that does happen. Um, it, it does happen. But I, you know, I would be really careful about going, you need to go in anticipating probably this is what I'm going to be and this is how it's always going to be. And if something better happens, then that's really going to be gravy.